everyone, I'm very excited to present the fountain pen episode. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite pens, my favorite ink, and why it's my favorite, and how I wash my pens. If you stick around, I'll also be showing a little swatch as well of each pen. Up first is the Lamy Safari. The EF means extra fine, and as you can see, it is very much needed for cleaning. <laughs> Up next is the Pilot Kakuno, also a fine nib. This is a very affordable pen for how high quality it is, and it's got a cute little smiley face. This is the Twisby Eco. I love the Dark Academia vibes. I also love how it has a built-in cartridge. This is the Lamy Joy. This is more of a calligraphy style pen, which you'll see in the swatches. This is a Noodler pen. I've never used this pen, but it's supposed to have a great flexible nib for sketching and drawing. It also has a built-in cartridge, which is awesome. This is the Lamy Safari, another extra fine pen. So let's get started with washing your pens. You're going to need some ice water. And the reason why you want really cold water is because the cold helps break down that really old, crusty ink. As you can see here, it's already starting to kind of bleed into the water. And I like to take apart all of my pen parts and I like to submerge them all into the water because you never know, you might have some ink wedged way up into the caps or even on the outside of the body itself. And you wanna let them sit in the ice water for about 10 to 15 minutes. And if you have um, a, a pen with a built-in ink system like the Twisby or the Noodler, you wanna make sure you're filling the ink system with cold water. That way you're getting a really thorough cleaning. Some pens might require a little bit more ice water than others. Um, so while you're waiting for those, you can get a head start on cleaning the outside of the pen or the caps with just some regular cloth like paper towels and as you can see here you want to make sure you're agitating the water through each change cycle because when you agitate it that'll really help loosen up the ink and once you've done this until your water is completely clear you want to take your time cleaning the nib the nibs are very delicate so you want to use something like an old t-shirt or a microfiber cloth because you don't want those fibers from like a paper towel getting stuck in your nib Okay, so now I want to talk to you about part two of this video, which is the ink filling. So some pens um, have built-in ink systems like the Twisby or the Noodler pen, and some pens come with like a little plastic cartridge. Um, you can just continue to buy plastic cartridges, but I prefer to buy an inkwell with a converter. So you don't have to buy any more of those little plastic cartridges and you can just get the inkwell and the converter and you're set. It's more sustainable that way and you get more bang for your buck. So if your pen didn't come with um, a built-in ink cartridge system, you can buy a converter for it. And I'll put a picture of the ones I bought here for my Lamy pens. And it's great. And so to fill those pens up with the converters in, you just pop the converter in, you put them in the pen itself, you put the nib, you submerge the nib of the pen in the ink. I know we just clean them, <laughs> but you can just give it a quick wipe after you finish this process and you're going to twist. Whatever your system is, it's almost always a twist system. So whether you're twisting the, uh, a Twisby style pen or you're twisting a converter, that's the way you fill up your pens. I think you can convert any fountain pen to have this mechanism, but make sure to research the type of fountain pen you have. See, like so, it's completely filled up. This is the Twisby. Oh, and I forgot to mention why I love this ink so much. It's waterproof. The typical standard fountain pen ink is actually not waterproof at all. In fact, it's very runny. And the reason why this is is because it makes the pen performance a lot better. But I found this company that makes fountain pen ink that's waterproof. And it works great. I'm going to show you a test. But I love using waterproof ink for a few reasons. One, you can use watercolor if you want and it won't run. And the other is if you make take a lot of notes like me, and you put like a cup of water, it's just risky. <laughs> it's happened to me many times, so I will forever now only be using waterproof ink. It's just safer, and as you can see here in the swatch, they perform very well. So just to give you an idea, the black Lamy here doesn't have a converter in it, and so I'm just using the standard fountain ink in this black Lamy here. Okay, so we're gonna test how the black Lamy compares to the ink in the other pen. So the Twisby and the Kakuno and this um, pink Lamy pen all have that waterproof ink I was just showing you. And 
When you're testing out a pen, you want to make sure you're testing it through curving shapes and through straight shapes. I must say, the Noodler is nice. This is my first time writing with it and it is really smooth. I actually really like this pen. Beautiful. And here's another Clear Lamy. The Clear Lamy and the Pink Lamy are the same. One's just pink. Both extra fine nib. Alright, so now I'm going to show you our waterproof test. Immediately you can see that black Lamy with the blue ink is starting to run. That's because that was just the standard fountain pen ink. But the other pens I filled up, like the Noodler, the Clear Lamy, the Twisby Eco, those inks are still retaining their clarity and legibility. And here is a little bonus watch of the calligraphy pen. This is my cat's name. <laughs> and I used to actually know calligraphy. My grandma was really into it and inspired me to give it a try. And I forgot it, so please enjoy this very much made up calligraphy. But I highly recommend getting yourself a fountain pen if you haven't already. The Pilot Kakuno is a great one to start off with. It's very affordable and it's just a very romantic way of making your notes, writing up plans, sending letters. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any more questions about fountain pens. I'd love to answer them.